Welcome to another monthly market update. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how real estate is doing in your neck of the woods. Data we'll be sharing with you is for this past month, July 2023. To get schooled at the national and local level, we have a video that goes into even greater detail for all of Chicago proper, the 77 areas. You can click in the upper right corner or find the link in the caption below. We cover a ton of helpful information about the economy, insights into the housing market, and more. So be sure to check it out. Let's first take a look at a brief overview of your area. Hey Lakeview, how's it going, my old stomping grounds? We're taking a look at data for you from the last month, July 2023. First looking at detached single family homes, there were 13 sales uh, in the month of July with an average list price of 1641385 average sale price of 1601192 and average market time of 93 days. With the attached market being condos and towns, 159 transactions last month, average list price of 471,706, average sale price a little higher at 475,252, and an average market time of 29 days. Sometimes as far as affordability, the multi-unit route might uh, might be better for you, looking at two to four flats, uh, whether you're looking at multi-generational living, you know, moving with fa family or friends, uh, or you're looking to be a landlord for the first time, certainly might be an option to, to consider here. Uh, six sales last month, and at, and we saw an average list price of 907043 Average sale price considerably less, uh, 841667 Average market time of 31 days. And if you are a landlord now or looking to be a landlord, or possibly you're a renter looking to move into or within the area, we like to bring information about the rental market as well. Uh, we do cover a lot of rentals besides sales. 257 rental transactions last month on the MLS with an average rental price of 2,625, the average rented price, what they actually went for, uh, 2,654, and an average market time of 17 days. Now, the rest of the data for your area. So, what does all this information mean for you? Heck if I know. All depends on what's going on in your life and your household. Let's start a conversation and see how we can help you make the most informed decisions. If you like copies of any of the reports or slides that we shared with you today, feel free to reach out. You can call, text, or email. My contact info is below. And remember, love and money may come and go, but time is something we never get back, so I appreciate and thank you for spending some of your time with me today. If you want to stay on top of the market with us, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And think of one person you believe might benefit from this information, and be sure to share it with them. As always, take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll catch you next time.